G'day Ziggy D here and welcome to a Magic the Gathering lore video. Today I'm looking at a brand new race introduced in the Kaladesh expansions, the Aetherborn. This primarily black aligned race is unique and mysterious with lives like no other. The Aetherborn are an artificially created life form, an unforeseen byproduct of the Aether refinement process and a crucial part of the Aether cycle. Aether is essential to the way of life of the peoples of Kaladesh. It's the source of energy for everything from the wacky creations of the Inventor's Fair to the cities themselves. Aether is refined by the Consulate, and through this process the Aetherborn are, well, born. As beings of pure energy their lives are short and they live in a constant state of change. They are born as adults, and they live and die in their prime. At the beginnings of their lives they are mostly solid like grey granite, but over time their solid body breaks down through a series of chemical reactions as they crumble away into something like soot and eventually a vapour. This is how the Aetherborn embody the reclaimed step of the Aether Cycle, their vapour replenishing the Aether Sphere with uncharged Aether. Such a short and tortured seeming life could be seen as tragic, but you won't catch an Aetherborn bemoaning their existence. Instead, they strive with all of their energy to live life to its fullest. When you have the chance, take it! And when the time comes, let go. Nothing lasts forever. Most Aetherborn build vast amounts of wealth rapidly and spend it wildly. Some seek the newest and most interesting creations by becoming patrons of the most talented inventors in all of Kaladesh. Aetherborn also throw the biggest and best parties in Kaladesh. Anyone who is anyone has gone to at least one of these Aetherborn hosted week-long events. But how, in such short lives, do they manage to accrue such extravagant wealth? Wealth that would take other races their entire lives to build. The city is the natural environment of the Aetherborn, giving them instincts relating to urban life. They navigate both the crowded streets and social situations with ease. Many Aetherborn fill roles as expert negotiators, and in a city thriving with trade and politics, such talents are always in demand. Some Aetherborn become consultants to the Consulate's Department of Recreation, helping to develop the city's entertainment options. After all, they know better than anyone else how to make the best of their time. Others become wealthy through becoming patrons of successful inventors, though it seems that their patronage can often come with certain unconventional advantages. And yet many more Aetherborn put their talents and canny understanding of city life to work in less savoury business endeavours. What better way to acquire great wealth to spend lavishly than through a life of crime? Short lives lead to forbidden choices. In fact the most notorious crime lord in Kaladesh is Crime Lord Gonti, an Aetherborn essence drainer. Born with an ability only a few Aetherborn share, Gonti can siphon the life away from another living being simply through touch. Certainly a useful intimidation and assassination tool. Perhaps the most curious part of their existence however is their relationship with the Consulate. As they owe their entire genesis to the Aether refinement carried out by the Consulate, they have a certain motivation to see that such activities continue. Some Aetherborn as such will supply the Consulate with information gathered on the streets to help prevent raids and attacks at refinement plants. However, their live fast, die young lifestyles more frequently align them with the activities of the opposing renegades. Certainly a source of tension is this duality of their existence. Perhaps in the upcoming Aether Revolt, we'll get to more fully explore this issue. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this look at what could potentially be one of the most interesting and unique races in Magic the Gathering. That's it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.